Hello everybody and welcome to the GF and RF locator usage demo and today we're going to talk about the G loop detector application and we needed to find a professional way to locate audio RF and EMF signals for the professional paranormal investigator. The hardest thing that we had in the market is that there are currently no applications out there that are, are slated for professional use, something that could give us granular control of the sensitivities of the frequencies as well as allow us to check targeted areas. With the G-Loop does that for us. And one of the things that we can also see here is on the main dashboard we have quite a few sensors. These sensors allow us to see where the audio is coming from as well as where the EMF is coming from, where the RF signals are coming from. We can see our baseline measurements, we can see our peak measurements down at the bottom, and we can also see our um, audio and frequency distribution as well on the left. So each one of these sensors is what a paranormal investigator can use. To access each one of the sensors, all you have to do is leave it on the dashboard to see it all live or just click on one. Once you click on it, it can go full screen and you have the ability to adjust the information that you're seeing on the screen, change the settings, pause, save, and do whatever else you want. So let's look at the RF locator here. We'll go back to the main screen, click on the RF locator, and that'll bring it up for us. Here on the RF locator screen, we have a center bar. That's that center half crescent around the center of the image. And that bar allows us to adjust our sensitivity. That means in order for the peak to actually be visible, um, for a directional indicator, that's going to have to be above that sensitivity that we set. The needle there in the center is the current peak measurement. So if we get a peak but it's not above our sensitivity, it shows us what the peak is. Then we have our directional, which is showing us what, where the direction of that uh, signal came from. And we also have the frequency distribution chart at the bottom that shows us what the current frequencies are. And we also have the peak measurement line down at the bottom that shows us our average peak measurements in multiple zones to allow us to see if there's an increase or a decrease or just a steady uh, RF signal in the area. All right, so that was the loop uh, application for you today. I hope you understand how to better interact with it. And if not, go ahead and check our forums or shoot us an email at uh, gloopparanormal, and we'll be more than willing to help. Have a great day.